Hi everyone, and welcome to Token Topics. XTC has been exploding, and for good reason. It's one of the most talked about projects on this channel, so this is very exciting. We're going to look into some recent developments surrounding the XTC network. We're also going to go over the price and see how XTC is helping to shape Milliter and how it's leading to redefine global trade finance. If you're an XTC fan, you don't want to miss this. Remember that any investing is risky. I'm also not paid for or sponsored by Zinfin or the XTC Foundation. All right, let's take a look at what XTC has done in the past month. It's been on an impressive rally, over 122%. That's incredible. I mean, just in the past week, over 26%. And in a day, over 17%. I think it, I saw it at one point hit around 20%. So it's been on an impressive rally and for good reason. If you've been subscribed to the channel and you have been lucky enough to get in on this project, you're doing ex exponentially well. Now think about this. This is before tons of money floods into the market. This is not the true bull market, but I believe this is a precursor to a serious altcoin uh, season that we're about to have. And I do believe that the Ripple case did bring some of this excitement into the market, some clarity into the market. and we are getting close, closer to a lot of these financial institutions, though, using some of these technologies at full throttle. But that is truly impressive what it's done in the past month. And I want to say congratulations to those who are holding XDC. But keep in mind, this is peanuts compared to the price of where this coin is going. Now, as far as the price of XDC in the future, I'm not a chart analyst, but I want to explain something. We're entering uncharted waters where charts aren't really going to matter a whole lot as far as utility. So what I mean by we're entering uncharted waters is that not only are we coming up to another Bitcoin halving, which I believe if we throw out utility and just talk about, you know, good news and people buying into it after around a Bitcoin halving, I, I see XDC hitting around $3. Now, if you take into account all the utility that's on the horizon, there's a lot of utility that's getting ready to be used right on the horizon. We're In a way, we're at event horizon. So what could the price end up being? Maybe by the end of the decade, I don't see why XDC could not hit at least double digits. It's probably going to do a lot more than that because of what it was designed to do. Much like what XRP was designed to do, Stellar XLM was designed to do. Supply, tra uh, supply chain, trade finance is massive. And this is really gonna unleash a lot of money. So if somebody were to ask me what my price prediction is in the short term future, well, 2024, 2025, I, I would say around $3. But again, if we take into account you know, all the utility being used that could that we could see a double digit we could see more than that who knows that's what i mean by we're entering uncharted waters this is awesome right here here we can see the xcc network in bloomberg this is posted from sunil senapati with the electronics trade documents act which gained royal assent recently in the uk and almost all of the countries and passing the united nations model law on electronic transferable records or uncitrol and in the letter, we have an opportunity to impact globally, unleashing innovation and investment in digital trade solutions and delivering significant economic and environmental benefits. So XTC Network takes the lead in the implementation of Milliter. Our integration with Indus Trade Trust provides an option for industry to develop an electronic trade document management system using an enterprise prize grade open source blockchain protocol right there the xdc network so we look forward to working together with the industry and providing benefits like operational efficiencies created by digitized bills of lading supply chain automation risk management solutions new capital markets and improved access to capitals for smes boom so diving into this article the xdc network has partnered with infocom media development authority or IMDA. It states here that this partnership is another milestone for the XCC network. In the space of trade finance, they already have a cross-border payments and financial messaging platform, which is ISO 222 compatible. XCC network is being used by many financial institutions for asset origination to distribution 
incorporating trade trusts into the XCC network brings in a much needed utility the industry has been waiting for. We are keen to playing our part and looking forward to working together with industry and providing benefits as operational efficiencies created by digitized bills of lading, supply chain automation, risk management solutions near capital markets and improved access capital SMEs, says Sunil. MDA is excited to partner with XCC Network to provide another blockchain-enabled platform that will enable government bodies and businesses to digitize cross-border trade with the growing demands of blockchain globally. XCC Network is a partner of MDA's Trade Trust, is one of the solutions for trade finance that we will continue to work closely with industry partners to push and develop in global digital trade. Now, this was just tweeted out by CSP System. XCC Trade Network is a complete suite of dApps on the XCC Network that aims to redefine the global trade finance industry by digitalizing the entire process. And we have interoperability of Meliter solutions, funding for trade documents developed on a Meliter compliant solution. So right there, XTC network is primed for Meliter and helping to actually shape it. All right, there is an Infa FinTech Day. Let's go into some Infa news. So Infa FinTech Day was held in July. We're going to go over some key insights on digital negotiable instruments and interoperability. One of the key areas that the XCC network is primed to tackle is interoperability. The ITFA Week workshop showcased several vendors, members, including China Systems, Inigio, Supercomp, WaveBL, Mitogram, and Kyriba, with each presenting their approaches to achieving interoperability, a theme central to the DNI initiative, which the XCC network is part of. The goal was to expand the scope beyond Inigio, which has enjoyed many successes in facilitating paperless trade and demonstrate different ways of attaining openness and compatibility among systems and platforms. So this is important. This is how these systems are all going to interoperate. Continues that various players have made good progress around interoperability, and a conversation is broader than just a successor of one vendor which is why we include a range of different use cases not tied to any particular product, says Casterman. Speaking on the sidelines of the event, there are multiple vendors all working together the same common goal of greater openness, and our objective is to profile these various strategies and approaches. This is great news right here. Ritesh Kikade tweeted out, Celebrate with us. Congratulations to Fentericos, brilliant founders, Haken Holmberg, Jacob Lindbergh, and Marco Poblet for crafting a compliance-friendly index featuring XDC. This is posted from John Ho, who is head of legal financial markets at Standard Charter. So digital tokens, this is an IMF working paper. The IMF has released a working paper on digital tokens, a legal perspective. Highlights. Digital tokens represent a revolutionary innovation for economic activities. The potential applications of tokens are multiple in commerce, finance, and many other economic areas. Tokens are units digitally represented in a distributed ledger or blockchain. The various use cases of this technology have the potential to transform a wide array of economic activities, from traditional commercial transactions to sophisticated financial undertakings. So this paper connects tokens with the traditional doctrine of commercial instruments. It analyzes to what extent tokens can perform functionally equivalent roles to those of existing instruments in commerce and finance. Uses a classification based on the rights that each token affords. Observes that tokens have the potential of replacing existing commercial instruments and of performing additional economic functions. Advocates that the legal systems need to establish clear criteria to distinguish tokens that are subject to securities laws. Extending securities laws to tokens that are not securities can produce undesirable results and stifle economic innovation. This working paper also outlines the fundamental legal rules are, that are necessary to provide legal certainty to the operation of tokens, apart from establishing legal rules for the connection of tokens with offline reality. The law needs to provide responses to fundamental 
questions such as legal rules for the transfer of tokens, including rules for loss, for legal transfers, and for good faith acquisition, the creation of security interests, the impact of insolvency, the use of enforcement actions, and eventually jurisdictional conflict of law rules for legal relationships involving tokens. It also notes that consumer protection and market functioning rules should be adapted uh, to the needs of the new digital economy for most tokens that perform economic functions that cannot be classified as securities. The law should re respect innovation and take an enabling approach. This may require only some additional changes in commercial law apart from the fundamental legal rules common to all those of tokens. At the same time, tokens that are used in legal relationship with consumers should be subject to consumer protection rules. These rules need to be adapted to the special characteristics of tokens offer equivalent protection to that of traditional economic relationships. So it's getting into the details of how all this has to work. Security, how are people are gonna have, be able to security. It also outlines that solid legal foundations can support technological development of tokens, which in turn may result in significant economic benefits. And that's what we're looking for right now. Keep your crypto safe with a decent biometric hardware wallet. With talks about cyber attacks or exchanges going down, it's imperative to keep your assets safe. And just know with Descent, your private keys are your private keys and only you have access to them. In the description below, I'm going to put affiliate links where you can receive $30 off the retail price. There's also a two wallet package deal that's a great value. There's no need to wait. Order your wallet and keep your crypto safe now. Well, everybody, I hope you enjoyed the content. If you did, please do consider subscribing so you can stay up to date. Thank you.